Hi there, it's Kathy Chow Isaacs, also known as I Wear the Crowns on Twitter. And um, I am working through the Python coding lessons in Minecraft Education Edition. So um, today I am starting with lesson six. Uh, so uh, to get to it from the start menu, I would you would hit play, uh, go to view library, and then lessons and then computer science subject area kit. And once you're in here, uh, what you'll do is you'll click on Python. And like I said, I am on lesson six. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose lesson six. And um, you know, worth looking at here is that there's a deep, uh, brief description for each one of the lessons. And then we have some learning objectives, kind of shows you a minimized um, window. But if you wanna read more, it shows you, you know, it'll expand. Uh, What's really helpful is if you go to the lesson plan button at the top right, that'll take you out to the Minecraft education site where you'll get a really detailed um, lesson plan. And what I think is also important is here, you'll have a download to an educator guide. Um, so this will show you, I mean, just give you everything, all the details, the introduction, how long it'll take you, the theme, the concepts that are gonna be covered inside of this uh, lesson. So in this lesson, we're talking about Boolean logic. So that is if something is, it can only evaluate to something that is true or false. You're also gonna be using the AND operator. So it's taking two, um, Boolean statements and saying if this is true and this is or if these two conditions are met then uh, the flow of the program will go one way and then there's also not if this is not true or if this is right so it flips the value of the Boolean statement um, talks about conditional syntax and um, yeah, it'll give you a great rundown of all the activities inside of the um, world and the code snippet solution, all kinds of it. So this is really worth go, go to the lesson plan online and uh, get a hold of these things before sending your students right into the world. So um, like me, I tend to just say create the world and try to figure out what's going on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create the world. Let's go ahead and see what this one is all about. All right, so we're in the world. We're gonna go ahead and speak to, I guess, the CEO. We have been speaking to the CEO throughout all of the lessons. So the, um, I think it's Code Mine is the company. Uh, we are trying to further develop the capabilities of the agent. So we're gonna continue working with the agent by making it able to drive a car for now. We are still in the testing phase with simulated environments. However, as soon as the code is finished, the agent can be deployed in the real world. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go to activity one as we're being directed at the bottom there. So I'm gonna walk through to this world and I'm gonna speak to this NPC. Oh really snazzy outfit. I've never seen anyone dressed like that before. Okay, um, this is the developer and the developer saying, um, I need to write, write some code that will make the agent stop, start, or wait for two seconds depending on the traffic lights. Can you write some code to make the agent aware of the lights? Oh, absolutely. So let's take a peek around. So um, the way that uh, the activities have been set up is usually the left hand side so if i'm talking to the npc on the left is part one and on the right behind the npc is part two so let's kind of take a look at what's going on we have a green light red light and a yellow light okay so let's hit c to launch code builder and see what part one is all about okay um, all right so we have part one write some code so the agent will only move when there is a block on its left side, use the agent detect command for the condition, for the condition. So agent detect looks like agent dot detect. So this is a method agent detection dot block comma to the left. Okay, and we have some code snippet here, all commented out because uh, we're gonna be writing all the code ourselves. Remember that the comments are, um, in Python comments, uh, bleh, lines are commented out by hashtags. All right, so um, for loop set to seven. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do. For loop set to seven, so I'm going to the end of that line of code. I'm hitting enter to give myself a new line because I wanna keep the comments there. 
I want to know what's going on. Um, so I'm going to go to the loops drawer. I'm going to uh, pull out a four loop and I'm going to place it right on that line. And remember what I'm going to do is I'm going to change um, this four, default four, repeat four to seven. Okay, whatever goes in the pass is going to be what is in the loop. Okay, and then also remember that um, from our last lesson on loops, the loop needs to be indented or the code needs to be indented so that Python knows that that is part of the loop. Okay, so here, if conditional with an agent detect condition, okay, so I'm hitting enter after that line and I'm indenting and I'm saying I need an if. Okay, so if I'm going to drag that out from the logic drawer. So if true, okay, if true, pass this code. So here we go. Whoops, I just want to delete that. If true, if what is true? So if um, agent detect, I'm going to just type that in, agent dot detect, okay, and here is the thing, agent detection block and where to the left, if the agent detects a block to the left, then what we want it to do is to move forward, okay? So agent, so what's gonna be passed through the loop is agent move um, forward by one. So, and it's gonna do that seven times. It's gonna check to the left if there is a block, and um, if there is, it's gonna move forward, okay? Oh, and that's where this line is. So I'm gonna move that down there. So let's make it consistent. If agent detect, agent move. So that looks like we're done with part one. I'm going to get rid of this pass and make that look pretty. All right. So part one, write some code so that the agent will only move when there's a block on the left side. Okay. And we used agent detect. Let's go ahead and hit play, compile the code, and test it out. Aha! Okay, so um, we're back to the code builder and um, we're going to go to part two, which is uh, edit the code so that the agent moves when there's no block to the left. Do this by adding a not operator before the commission. So um, just going back to the world, if we look here at the red light, um, the code that already exists, currently exists, is not going to work because there's no block to the left, so nothing's going to, it's not going to move forward. Um, so what we need to do is we're going to place a not here. So this is not, if not agent detect. So if the agent does not detect anything any there, anything to its left, it should move forward. So let's try that out. Let's hit play to return. Oh, very nice. Correct, go to part three. So now let's see what's in part, th what part three has in store for us. All right, so um, part three. It has a yellow light, and if we go to Code Builder, part three wants us to add to the code so the agent stops for 2,000 milliseconds when there is a code, there's a block to the left. Do this by using pause. After two seconds, the agent should move again to reach the last gold block. Okay, so if there is not, so then this is going to have to be if conditional with agent detect, so if not, if agent, if agent detect. Oh, isn't that funny? If agent detect, agent detection, um, block to the left, okay, um, colon, have the pause. We're gonna go to loops to get that, pause for, Whoops. For two, ay, 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 2,000 milliseconds. And then make the agent move forward. Agent move forward one. And I'm just going to grab that from up there. All right. So let's test this out. Oh, it's pausing. We did it. Yes, activity one is complete. All right, thanks for your help. And then I'll see you on the next video for activity two.